What's up guys, Larry here from Photo Me Larry and we're back with another episode of the channel. Today we're gonna do Rolling Cheap. Uh, I picked up this Supreme, I think it's an MF1 camera body from Yashica. This is rebranded as a couple different cameras, but I thought it'd be cool to grab one of these. We're in Berkeley, California. I love Berkeley, it's one of my favorite places to come shoot because there's just so much interesting stuff. Welcome back to Rolling Cheap. More content on the way, but let's get this bad boy open and go shoot. notice about this camera is the feel it's like semi plastic semi rubber maybe it's like a very soft coated plastic this camera feels really tiny especially in my hands it feels somewhat flimsy like I don't, I don't want to drop this at all I'm not gonna be rough with this thing it feels like I want to hold my pinky out when I shoot this thing you know anyway let's throw some film in there let's go actually the new produced film that has the silver caps. I forget why, I think there was a supply problem with the black caps, but now they're doing this little alloy caps. We just got this, and I didn't even notice, but on this little tag it says it's preloaded with 24 shots already. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot the 24 shots, then I'm gonna load the Ultra Max, then I'm gonna shoot the Ultra Max, and I'll put all the photos in this video at the end, but I'll make sure you guys know that which one was which. So one thing I'm kind of noticing already is after you take the shot and start rewinding it, it feels like the, the mechanism for the rewind is backwards because it doesn't click, it just kind of smoothly pulls and then it stops. Whereas with these types of cameras, I'm used to the And so, yeah, if you're looking for that experience, I guess this camera doesn't have it. I don't know if it's because it's this one specifically or what. It feels weird, I'm not gonna lie, it feels weird. So if someone else has this, please in the comments let me know if it's just mine or if that's how they all work. So I found, I think I found another issue with this camera and man, this really sucks. I don't know if it's just this one or all of them, but so there's this little dial right here that says flash on and flash off. Now check this out. Right now it's currently set in the off position. Okay, hold on. Now let's switch it. Let's try that again. <laughs> this. I can already tell you right now that this video is not going to go well. This camera is probably just going to end up on my desk looking nice because it looks really nice. Like I like the way that it looks. Don't get me wrong. I think it's cool and it feels it feels cool in my hands. But I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a proper MF1 review because this thing is acting up. So I thought about it. If there's no battery, there's no flash. I'm legit upset about this. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I shouldn't have to go through this much to try to get this to work, but that's life. You know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna save yourself and myself some time. We're just gonna get right into the nitty gritty. This camera, maybe I'll, I'll at least be fair enough and say maybe this one specifically. This was brand new, like fresh out of the box. I hadn't opened it until today. It was hot garbage. Um, when I closed the case, the frame counter at the top, here, let me see if I can do that thing. That little guy right there, there's like a little spindle wheel. The little spindle wheel that counts your frames actually it's, it's kind of loose, and so if you close the camera back, you could actually like bend it because it would go on top of the top of the camera back. So that was actually or the camera door, so I thought that was kind of bad. Um, also, you when you're rewinding the film, it doesn't go all the way back in, even if I just sat there and click it for a while. And so you leave with this feeling of uncertainty where, did I expose these images or not? Did they properly secure themselves to the roll and then advance every time I was rolling it, or did nothing happen? So I will say this, it, it looks great. The camera looks really, the camera looks really cool. I love the way that this camera looks a thousand percent. This is probably my favorite looking camera that's a point and shoot camera that I ever bought. I love the feel of it. The touch is soft. It's like rubbery, like that's cool. But to be quite honest, this camera is probably gonna sit on my camera shelf and I'm just gonna leave it there as a nice ornament. Um, 
I'm not even interested in developing the images that I got off of this because I mean I know what to expect out of here and I would rather not waste the chemicals or spend the money. So unfortunately on this episode of Rolling Cheap I was really excited about this camera. Uh, it's just not my thing. Alright guys so that's that. Um, we'll, we'll figure out another episode of Rolling Cheap probably with another camera. Uh, I like doing Rolling Cheap. Like I like point and shoots. I can just throw something in there go out and shoot. It's a lot of fun. It's unfortunate when even a cheap camera is like super cheap, cheap, cheap. And because this was Supreme branded, I think this was an expensive cheap camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just would not recommend. I'm hoping that it was my personal experience. Maybe I had a bad experience or um, I don't know, but it looks great though. I'm not going to lie about that. I think it looks great. All right. This is Photo Be Larry. I'm Larry. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.